now we are at the FNSS stand with the Zaha. You know, it's called the Zaha in Turkey. This is for the Turkish Marines. So the Zaha, Zaha means uh, Marine Infantry Fighting Vehicle. So apparently we are uh, we marked it as Mariner in, uh, here in Indonesia. We will be partnering with PT Pindad, yeah. inshallah, hopefully, yeah, hopefully, if there will be a, a requirement from the uh, Indonesian Marines. And, they, and we will be able to uh, manufacture this vehicle jointly with PT Pindad in Indonesia. Just like we have did with uh, Harimau tank, we designed, yeah, Harimau. we designed, we manufactured, we jointly manufactured. Yeah. Now we continue jointly manufacturing the tank and delivering it to the Indonesian army. So it, it could be the same model, uh, but there are huge advantages with this vehicle because all the major subsystems, power pack, okay. engine, okay. cooling system, drive lines, suspension system, all same with the Harimau. Okay. So we are we have very high logistic commonality with the Harimau tank. Huh? So it is a uh, marine vehicle, uh, marine uh, assault fighting vehicle. So as you can see, we have a boot control turret with the 12.7 uh, millimeter machine gun and automatic grenade launcher. Um, so if you have, if you compare this vehicle with other old generation um, marine vehicles or uh, uh, marine infantry vehicles, um, the turret is very capable once compared with others yeah. because it has a uh, fire on the move capability, it's fully stabilized and together with it has a uh, yeah. day and night sight and it has a high protection because the uh, gunner sits there, not in the turret. Because yeah. on the other versions, the gunner sits on the turret. So whatever the protection level you have yeah. or, uh, on the turret, that could be able to protect the uh, gunner. Yeah. But here, the, the gunner is protected under the vehicle armor because it's a remote controlled weapon station. Okay? Then so, uh, other thing about this vehicle is it has a mine protection together with the ballistic protection. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, uh, and we been able to do this with different materials, with different armor uh, plates and materials. So it's, a, uh, it's also more protected than all generation vehicles. The, uh, the mission equipment has, uh, gives you a 360 degree cameras, so you have been able to see what's going on around you. Uh, you have a great situational awareness. Yeah. Um, hydraulic tree main opens up once you enter the ocean, the water, oh, yeah. so it pushes the water away. Uh, so it has a seven knot speed in the water, in the ocean. Uh, and together with like uh, 70 km per hour on land. We are here. Three. As you can see, One, there is a uh, section three. section of okay. uh, marine infantry which sits there. And as you can, if I'm not sure whether if you have seen the A87 armored yeah, yeah. assault vehicle. So if you see the vehicle on that vehicle, that bench, not seats. There's a bench. Yeah. But whatever vehicle you see a bench, yeah. that means it doesn't have a mine protection. Yeah. These are mine protected seats, special seats. You know what they're for? You know what they do? Why? How? How? So what? How? When mine explodes, uh -huh. uh, the biggest problem is the G force. The G force. Yes. The G force. Not not the. I mean, it, well, the vehicle doesn't break it itself, yeah. but the G force from it goes from zero to one hundred G. Wow. So it breaks your bones. Yeah. So yeah, you. You need a special seat, yeah. mine shock extinguishing seat, to extinguish this force, to keep the soldier alive. So these are special uh, seats to keep soldier alive once uh, so mine mine explosion occurs. Yeah, this is the part of uh, security. Sorry. This yes, yes, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. This is the part of survivability. Absolutely. Yeah. So once you sit here, yeah, you have to tie yourself. 
Imagine you are you are uh, in a vehicle, uh -huh. and the G force happens, it goes yeah. up. And so what up. happens? You it, it just sticks you up to the floor. So yeah. that's that's why you need these special belts. Yeah. It's just like uh, the belts which is used in aviation uh -huh. or 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 um, maybe race cars. Yeah. Maybe maybe. But this is special made for uh, military use. So it's five points, as you can see. Here, uh -huh. so so you uh, so you tie it with the five points seat, and then once you uh, squeeze all these, the uh, the soldier gets tight in on the seat, and together he wears his helmet, yeah, not to hit his head up, all right, and then it's safe for some level of uh, mine explosions, of yeah. course, and together with that we have. Um, um, Spall liners inside uh -huh. against um, um, spalls yep. flying. And if, if there is a penetration from an RPG or whatever, uh, 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 it's to hold the uh, spall cone. Okay, so and it will. Yeah, it's really it is a composite the material. Yeah, it's oh. also composite material for uh, for protection. And, and in the meantime, uh, we have this uh, drivers. Uh, the driver sits on the front. The, yeah. the commander sits on uh -huh. the back, and the gunner sits there. As you see, gunner position is uh -huh. inside the vehicle, not yeah. inside the turret all right and um, so here he has all these displays uh, in addition the commander also can see the gunner display from his own uh, mission equipment uh, we have different type of uh, we can build different type of variants yeah. depending on requirements uh, especially for Indonesia they uh, we, we could add different uh, equipment because the um, or mariner, uh, the yeah, marines Marini. in Indonesia yeah. may may have different requirements than any other navy yeah. or any other marine corps. So uh, so we are easy to fit to that uh, for sure. And um, uh, so if uh, also we have these um, fire suppression system, yeah, automatic fire suppression system. So if there is a fire, in, uh, of course, of course, automatically suppresses. Uh -huh. You don't need to you don't need to switch to anything. It yeah. automatically. Uh, Extinguishes the uh, fire. So whenever the system detects the fire, it will be automatically active. Yes, it will get right. automatically. It will be automatically activated. So, is there any special question you want to ask? Well, uh, what about the? This one is used for. This is this for the weapon system. Oh, weapon control system. weapon system. We would control turret. Okay. On top. Yeah. And so you operate the turret from there. Oh, okay. Under the protection of the vehicle. So just one person over there. Yes, one one gunner. Gunner sits one there. One gunner. Yeah. And in the front there are driver and commander. Oh, there are two. Okay, driver and commander. So okay. What is the the best part according to you the best part of this vehicle it swims <laughs> <laughs> it swims it floats it floats so uh, but it does like uh, unlike any other um, amphibious because most amphibious vehicles uh, are capable to swim in inner waters like yeah. crossing the rivers swimming in the lakes or ponds but this vehicle is capable to swim in the ocean yeah even in sea state 4 if it rolls over, yeah. if, if in sea stage four, for a course, and if you have big waves rolling it's, over the vehicle, it gets back again. It, oh, it, it, amazing. It, yes, it's, it's, it's design allows the vehicle to put it back in it. It has a self-writing capability. So that means it's also capable to swim in very harsh or very uh, yeah. difficult sea conditions. Um, because, you know, once you have an armored vehicle, I mean, mobile armored yeah. vehicle with a weapon system. Uh, it's difficult to have everything together with swimming capability. Swimming capability right. is not easy. It's not easy. Yeah. You cannot combine all these uh, special requirements together in one type of vehicle. But this vehicle is a great sample yeah. to showcase that kind of capability together with the amphibious and uh, uh, weapon system and the mobility all together. Absolutely with the agree. Power. Yeah, absolutely agree because Indonesia has many island you know there are uh, many rivers also I know. so we need this yes, yes. This type of many uh, islands vehicles. many islands many well, well you may think like i'm not sure whether if you um, you have been able to remember the map of turkey uh -huh. we are uh, we oh, in terms of our location uh, and our uh, geography we are connected to uh, four seas uh -huh. four seas yeah black sea uh -huh. mediterranean okay. sea 
yeah. which is our inerc yeah. agnc yeah. uh, and marmara sea yeah. so all these uh, we are so we are like a peninsula yeah. it's a big pen anatolia is a big peninsula so we are surrounded by uh, absolutely so thereby uh, our navy is also uh, um, started to um, gain or started to receive different type of uh, sea vessels together with like we have a um, landing craft uh, we will have a landing craft shortly so these vehicles will accommodate inside that landing craft